Hello there, and today we'll be taking a look at my little Sea Life modular set. So as you can see, I think this is my most impressive modular I've done so far. Obviously, we've got the blank walls to get out of the way and the ugly back because it's going to be hidden next to the Lego Tower. I have completed my Lego Tower and the video is up if you wanted to check that out. As well as, of course, my friend's modular from however long ago. We've got the brick wall to go next to the rocky side that I have already created, but... The focus today is on the inside of this modular. You can see it is sort of action packed and there are some really good pieces and different building techniques I've used in order to make this work. And I do think this is my best modular to date. You can see probably the most eye catching thing at the minute are the dolphins at the back ready to jump over the tunnel. And I couldn't have any animals on top of the tunnel because I wanted to get some people inside, make a nice arch going over it, which does continue all the way through and that meant that when the next story is placed which is i'm hoping to be like a giant fish tank i think that'll look really cool from the outside of the city i couldn't have any animals on top perhaps a little fish or something but you can see there's definitely the idea of them jumping over they're a bit synchronized you've got these two going over to the right and this dolphin over here is going to swim in between them and it will look really cool from underneath we've also got the little seal and the seal cub from down below out front you can actually see the seal with the seal cub and not only the seal and seal cub but the other side you can see there's a shark snacking on a fish that's just just swimming around the fish is perhaps distracted with this person at the front here the door does open you can access the inside this is the shark i was speaking about when i think i called this the atlantis shark this is from a very old Lego City set. There's an updated model in the pirate pack, which I've got. I didn't want to replace him because I just felt bad. He'd probably be sitting in a tub, so I'd have to look at somewhere to put the other pirate shark. But this here is the shark from the Atlantis, and I thought he fit in really well, as well as the actual scuba diver that perhaps is, I don't know, perhaps he works here, perhaps he's cleaning the tanks, and this is his lunch break, or he has a day off, and he's just admiring the dolphins from the other side so i've got the scuba diver and the shark both just chilling in the aquarium you can see it's just a regular man who's perhaps paid bought a ticket and come to see the dolphins and he's just a mix of random spare parts i've got he actually uses the beard from the new dreams village set so that was a nice use for it and there's another guy just in there watching the shark perhaps he likes sharks and you can see the shark from atlantis does have his eyes on the seal cub so we'll have to keep an eye on him but there's so many stories going on in a tight spot and it just shows you what you can do with these sort of builds now this top glass bit comes out all the way to the front this is the same piece and it's held up at the front with this sort of little sticky out plate here the one that comes out about half a brick and on the back you've got this snot brick which holds up the whole of the top of this tunnel it sort of rests on this brick and the front there and to fill the gaps i've also added some slopes they just about don't touch but they're there just in case one of these bricks fails and it drops and you've also got the window at the back which perhaps goes on into more of this sea life exhibition i've added windows on the side you can perhaps see that these bricks aren't here firmly this little stud at the bottom is actually resting against one of the windows which just comes on enough to be on that stud and these are all held on this whole window panel on both sides are held on by a little bracket just down here you can see just through this little gap there is a one by one bracket which holds on this whole strip of windows and it's secure enough that it doesn't fall off which is very nice especially when this is going in my city and who knows how many times i'm going to bump into this and it just looks very very sleek at the front you've got this arch which these are the pieces that are holding on all the windows so this door is just here loosely and you've got this whole arch piece that's built over it so that the rest of the modular could fit around the tunnel but i'm very impressed with how it's turned out as you can see there's no water i could have added perhaps a bit more detail or added some loose studs but decided to have a nice clean sandy bottom where the tank's been cleaned you've got no moss you've got no anything else growing around it it's kept up to date and of course I added the grey plates and tiles right at the front so it matched up and lined up with the pavement on the outside so perhaps I can add a little ticket office out front and of course 
I want to create a little pond out front. Perhaps we've got a little leakage in this sea life exhibit. But this is going to be the start of my last tower for the back of the city. And I said I'll have a fish tank or something on top and then get to work on that rooftop farm. So the city's coming together very nicely. And now let's go place this in the Lego city. And as you may remember from my video where I built the top of the Lego tower, finished it off, added the roof. And I realised that compared to the height of the rock wall on the right, it was a bit shorter than I expected. And I weren't quite sure why, and I put it down to the height of the roof. You can see the Lego Museum is 8 bricks tall, and I think the roof is about 7, maybe 7 bricks and a plate, 7 point something bricks tall. So I put that down to it, but you can see there's definitely a difference. And now if we take a look at the sea life next to the Lego store, you can see... The Lego store is only seven bricks tall and not the four eight bricks of the rest, which I've used for the sea life. I've also used it for the three stories of the friend sets and I'll use it for all the other towers. So I have to sort of remedy that. I don't know. It might work because of the farm being on top. It might put the farm about the height of the balcony and I'll just probably fence up that wall. But... It is a bit annoying. It's going to irritate me that the two floors aren't level. So we'll see how it looks once I've built the sort of giant tank that will be the next floor of the Sea Life Tower. But you can see the robber caught red-handed out the front with the fish fits in very nicely. You've got the cop chasing him, running away from Sea Life. And you've got the two Luke Skywalkers down that little alley, which I still need to find the plates for. But perhaps I'll have to find a different way of making them. I mean, to be fair, even just the grey plate alone just looks like a very flush rock wall, which you'd expect under a house, unlike the other rocky terrain you've got around. And the city's definitely looking a bit more packed. I think I have to take Mr. Sentinel here, put him back with the other mocks. And this sandwich shop here, I actually have a really good idea. I might add this for the sort of takeout section of the calf that's going to be over here. I might make it a bit bigger. I might have the restaurant have the whole bottom floor here. Big glass window here instead of being able to open it. And just have a little takeaway bit on the other side. I could even perhaps add a little alley between the two buildings. And create something down there. But we'll have to wait and see. And obviously this will probably be the last video you see. All the Halloween items. I might make a video taking them down. And sort of getting it ready for my winter update, getting ready to make it all Christmassy, but this will definitely be the last in-depth look you'll have, and now I've just got to find all these spiders that I've dotted around the city, and I really don't know where half of them have gone, but hopefully I'll be able to work on the city a little bit more now, especially as there's not as many new Star Wars sets and such coming out, and as we approach the end of the year and get ready for next year, I wonder what other sets I can add to this Lego city. So expect plenty of updates to come. I definitely want to start work on this before the end of the year. So November, December time, hopefully we see a lot on this side of the city. As It's been very heavily this side focused. Obviously the rock wall, the lo-fi apartment, the Lego tower, now the sort of animal tower and farm tower. I do need to start thinking about the other side. So... I hope you enjoyed the LEGO City content, there's definitely more to come. Do drop a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the future of my LEGO City. May the bricks be with you, always.